the reason I designed this mask was really just to experience synesthesia for myself. That was it. It actually worked the first time I put it on. That never happens. So I thank, thank the maker gods for that. So how does synesthesia actually work? People with synesthesia have multiple areas of the brain activated by a single stimulus. So for example, for a synesthete who associates colors with smells, when they see the color red, the area of the brain associated with sight might be activated, but so would the area of the brain associated with smell. The senses and concepts that can overlap are widely diverse. They include smells, numbers, taste, music, days of the week, colors, shapes, and even pain. The first time I encountered it was actually a friend, his wife has it, and for her, her synesthesia is numbers and colors, and that just sounds beautiful to me. Um, to see it in math, to see math is beautiful as a Monet painting, come on, I mean, I think it changes the way you interact and perceive the world. How is Zach's mask able to mimic this condition? He wears a color sensor on his finger. It's something that detects the amount of red, green, and blue in anything it's pointed at. This sensor connects to a series of tubes containing scented oils. When it passes over blue, he smells lavender. When he passes it over red, he smells grapefruit. And when he passes it over green, he smells pine. The experience of wearing this device was, it's hard to describe because you are experiencing a world that no one else is at that moment. When I brought it outside and I'm wandering down the pier and most people are smelling the ocean, the experience you're having at that moment is different than everyone else around you. It's difficult to describe to other people. And I feel lucky to have experienced it. Biophysical hacking, I love it.